In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Dragon Ball Nexus on the PlayStation 4. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Playing Dragon Ball Nexus on a PlayStation 4 is extremely simple. You will be able to play it just like you would in any other platform. So the experience is officially available for PC and consoles, including PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X or S. All that you have to do is sign into your Roblox account after you open the game and look for the game on the home screen or by using the search function. It is extremely straightforward. You don't need to do any sort of special setup or update. So once you find Dragon Ball Nexus, choose the experience and join it. You will load into it immediately and you should see this title screen. All that you have to do now is press any key to start playing. Just like on PC, you will be able to go through the tutorial if you wish or just join a lobby. For this video, I'm not going to go through the tutorial, but you can if you want to. And if you go over to the lobby, you can join any of these public lobbies here or create a new one. If you want to play only between you and your friends, you can set up a private password here and then continue to create this lobby. Once you have everyone who is going to be playing in here, you will be able to ready up so you can be transferred over to a room and in there you will be able to adjust all of the settings. So you have the character settings, the control settings and so on. You will notice that I am recording this video on my PC, but don't worry, the process is going to be exactly the same and you will be able to play it on your PlayStation 4. I'm only recording on my PC for convenience. However, everything will work the same way as it would between PC or PlayStation 4, only the layout might be different. In here, you can choose your character, go over to the options and customize everything and you can also access the controls of course the controls are going to differ between platforms but regardless you can still access all of them so it is extremely simple to do and you can customize everything as you can see all of the buttons will be automatically adjusted for controller so you can use the d-pad to lock on and switch between the lock on uh, targets you can press r3 to actually lock into an enemy b for blocking a for flying jump your step vanish and so on so it is extremely simple i hope i was able to help you on how to play dragon ball nexus on playstation 4 if this video helped you please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips thank you for watching